Today, we're going to be reviewing the most amazing, most epic, most perfect figure that have ever existed in the entire time that Transformers has been around. Here it comes. Are you ready for this? Oh! It's down from the heavens itself. There it is. And by God, is it beautiful. Oh, if the camera would... There we go. Okay, there. If the camera would focus. Um. Yeah. This is uh, the best Transformers figure ever made. Um, you could tell they put... Tons and tons of uh, work into this and so much effort. Uh, you can tell that by the way that uh, nothing pegs in properly. And the fact that they uh, decided to not even include the other door to the car in the packaging. So, um, for comparison, we're going to go grab a really crappy figure and um, compare them. Okay, so I went and grabbed a phenomenal figure, but in comparison to this one, it's nothing. Um, there you go, seeing them together. You can obviously see that this is the superior version here. Um, it's got the best paint apps. I mean, look compared to that. The paint apps on this are just phenomenal. This is obviously the best. This is just a piece of crap. I used to think this was cool, but at the side of this baby, there's no possible way that anything could be better than this. So, now we're going to transform this thing. First off is one of the best features in the whole thing. You literally just take the roof off and throw it out into space because it literally does absolutely freaking nothing. So, there you go. That, that, that's what you do with that. It's just fly off into space and don't come back. Get out of here. No one wants you. There you go. Um, first step. Second step. Open the door that obviously doesn't really peg in that well. Even though there's a peg here. D there. Even then it's still sticking out. But it's the greatest figure ever, remember? So we got you gotta give it credit for that. Um, open the door, lift it up, and then pull the legs apart. Don't flip down the feet because, you know, it doesn't have any. You, you don't need feet to walk, right? You're, you're fine. Then, you know, take these arms and pull them out. And then pull them out sideways. Rotate this section down. And then flip the head up. And there you have the best trans the best Transformers fi figure the best Transformers figure you could possibly want. Um, Japan did a great job with this. Um, obviously, it's got the likeness to to Bumblebee right there on lock. That looks so much like Bumblebee. It's it's unbelievable. Um, that's just put. He keeps putting his head down because he knows how awesome he is. Because he knows if you look at his face too long, your whole body will explode out of pure awesomeness. Um, just keep his head up. He stands extremely well, as you can see. Um, this, like I said, does literally absolutely nothing. You can't put it on his back, you can't put it on his arms, you can't put it on his leg, you can't put it even on his head as a Sunday hat. The only thing you can really do with it is put it back where you got it, and if you do that, it looks unbelievably stupid. So, without the inclusion of that, this is possibly not only the best Transformers figure in the world, but the best figure to ever exist in the history of action figures. And if you couldn't tell by now, I'm being unbelievably sarcastic as I say these words. This is single-handedly the worst Transformers figure I have ever had, and that's saying something. 
compared to the figures that I've had before, this is just so bad. Like, this is an abomination. This should not exist. Why is this here? Why does this exist? Why is this part of the universe? This shouldn't be here. It shouldn't be anywhere because it shouldn't freaking have been made. But you know what? Someone decided to make it and thought it was a good idea. Um, but from now, let's get on an articulation. You got rotation here. Uh, you got ball joint that's extremely stiff in this the elbow. You could break the entire arm trying to rotate it. You got extremely loose ball joint in the hand. They shake his fist angrily at you. Um, you got ball joints in the hips where if you try to move them out too far, they'll literally just pop off. Um, just put that back on. You got ball joints in the knees, which are extremely weak, hence why he has such a wonderful time standing. Um, his head is on this this little swivel for transformation and transformation only. But as you can see, he's he's listening to a freaking rock band. So he's rocking out. So after he's done rocking out to that, you know, just just transform him transform him back to his normal car mode. There you go. There you go. As you can see there, there is his car mode, and it looks amazing. Subscribe! Seriously, Bumblebee, I'm sorry I've had to do that to you. You, you are amazing. Forgive me. I'm not talking to you. You go into the abyss of figures to never return. Alongside all those inner John figures. Bye. Back to you.